I, I think it was because of Sienna. Oh my gosh, my heart about burst back there. She's so cute, and I love the Jonas Brothers. Yes. They're very big in our house. They're very big in our house. My husband is always telling, we're always trying to tell our kids, Look, we're very cool. <laughs> okay, you, yeah. have, you don't think that right now, but let me just tell you something, we're really cool. And they're like, no. And so to combat that, my husband, would, and he makes like good pancakes or lifts something heavy, he'll always look at them and go, oh, the Jonas Brothers wish they could be me. <laughs> oh, they wish they could be me. And the other day, my littlest, she was on the swing and she jumped off at the height of the swing and she landed on the ground Whoa. and we thought that she was going to cry and she turned around and looked at us and she goes, the Jonas Brothers wish it could be me. <laughs> Anyway, well, I'm happy to be here. I am so happy to be with you. And I, I, you know what? I'm kind of a late bloomer to show business. I have to say, you and your husband, Dax Shepard, are two of the coolest people I've ever met. No joke. Thanks. Just the nicest, most grounded people Thanks. in the world. And you know, we actually met about 10, 10 or 11, yeah. 12 years ago. Like, one of my first movies was Couples Retreat. Right. It was you and Jason Bateman, yep. and I played your therapist. That's right, that's that correct. That was amazing. But we didn't get to know each other, I think until post when we were at the birthday party. Oh, the big old birthday the party. The big old birthday party. Which, if you don't know this, <laughs> Ken, apparently, um, I've never been punctual in my life, but Ken is always punctual. Oh. And we had got, we were both invited to our friend Bradley Cooper's birthday yeah. party. And this was, how, I mean, how many years ago? I don't know, almost 10 years ago. Yeah, yeah. And the party said, uh, 7.30, is somewhere in Santa Monica, a nice restaurant, and 729, Dax and I are walking through the door. Ken and his lovely wife are walking through the door, and we sit down, and we're like, hey, we'll grab a table together, and then 8, and 830, and like 845, and we're like, whoo, did we get the date wrong? No, all the cool kids showed up like two hours late, right. and we just ended up, having, ended up having a lovely dinner together. It was amazing. We had like a double date right. prior to the birthday party because nobody showed up till 9 p.m. Oh God, I love you. It <laughs> is, you know what, it's like, I just turned, you know, in my, I just turned 50, but it's fine. That's a milestone. Yeah, that's right, yeah, I look great. I look great. great. I look great. Yes. I'm fine. You know, they, yeah. you know, what's the old saying? Black don't crack, well Asian don't raisin. Anyway, yeah. just saying. I'm so jealous. It's fine, it's fine. But apparently, like. I turned 39 this year. Wow. And, Amazing. But again, my kids again, just, they, they're so dumb. And we, <laughs> I asked them on the morning of my birthday mm -hmm. how old they thought I was turning. And the, I said, how old do you think mommy's turning? And the little one goes, um, 63. <laughs> and then I was like, okay. She's four years old, I can give her some credit there. And then I looked at the older one who's supposed to be like doing math in school. Right. And I said, how old do you think mommy's turning? And she goes, 89? <laughs> <laughs> brutal, they're brutal. Oh my but God. But I took it as a compliment because I thought maybe they'd just look great to them. If they really loved you, it'd be like 185 that's or something. Right. Hopefully yeah. next year. Hopefully next next year, year I'll be turning 185. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's a fun house you have. Yeah, I can just tell you, Dax, and the kids. That's just it's nice, but it's laughs got, galore, huh? Yeah, but it, you got to stay on your toes. Well, you know, because you had yeah. two girls when they're yeah. little, and ours are, they really keep us on our toes because they're pranksters, <laughs> really, which is, really like, like exhausting, but I'm also like, oh, you're developing a sense of comedy. I love it. Yeah. But they've, the previous things they've done, they, I remember they used up a whole roll of scotch tape, and they taped gum to my chair. It was unchewed, though, which I was like, I don't get it, but... Okay, <laughs> and it was just all these like pockets of bubble gum stuck to the chair. They've also, what else have they done? They got me real good. We, I was making dinner, they were being nice to each other. I knew something was wrong. <laughs> and I, they said, mom, we wanna cuddle in your room before we go to sleep. And I was like, Aww. okay, but again, I'm so suspicious. We walk into my bedroom, I pull back my sheets. They have dumped easily a gallon of water onto my mattress. <laughs> It was saturated and then tucked into the sheets, they also put uh, pumpkins, because this was like last week, what? and a bunch of their dirty underwear. What? <laughs> what? And I was like, ha, huh. and they're laughing. They are like huh. spitting up their laughing so hard. And then I like tried to shake it off and then I sat them down and we had to have a very 
a conversation, a serious one, about thinking about how much cleanup the pranky will have to do after a prank. Right. <laughs> so they can do the pranks, but they've always done it. They, they've always done it. Wow, don't give my kids any ideas. You know what I'm talking about, it's girls, huh? Look at one. how excitable they are. They anyway, <laughs> more with Kristen Bell after this.